All right, welcome back. It's the Vegas Take, Sharp and Shapiro with Pat Cassell in studio. Let's talk a little baseball, baby. You know, uh, the first time I saw this Aviators ballpark, I was amazed. I mean, it has the feeling of a major league ballpark, by far the best ballpark in Triple A baseball. And it also helps that we got a pretty good team. They made postseason, and guess what? Postseason starts tonight against Sacramento. The man we have with us on the line right now, he is the manager of the Aviators, Fran Riordan. Fran, thank you so much for coming on. How are you? I'm happy to be here in Sacramento, just grabbing some lunch with the staff and uh, getting ready for the game tonight. Yeah, I appreciate you taking some time to join us. Um, you know, And uh, we want to talk about the game tonight before we get there. When you started with this ball club at the beginning of the year, did you get the sense that with the staff that you had that this was a team that could do some damage postseason? Well, yeah. I mean, the, the rosters in AAA are, are an ever, ever changing, ever evolving thing. But uh, I, I knew that we had a pretty, pretty deep roster. I knew that we had a lot of talent on the pitching side and also on the uh, the offensive side. And uh, I, I think that pretty much th- that came to fruition throughout the year, just the way we hit the ball, the way we pitched and played defense, uh, and that led to a division championship. So it, it was a just a great year from the start. I want to talk to you a little bit, too, about attendance because it's unbelievable. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Las Vegas completed the regular season leading all A 30 teams in attendance, over 650,000 in 70 dates, averaging close to 10,000 a game. Fran, did you ever think you would get there? I, I mean, the, the fans that have come out to support us this season have been absolutely incredible. The energy they bring every night. Uh, you, you look at a minor league team that averages close to 10,000 fans a night, it's, it's just uh, something that's amazing to be a part of. And I know the players set off of it. I know the, the fans brought brought that uh, that energy in, in every single night. And uh, it was just some something special to be a part of. If you're just joining us, Las Vegas Aviators manager Fran Riordan, postseason starting tonight in Sacramento. Okay, so it's a best of five playoff series, Fran. Talk to me a little bit about the game tonight. I mean, how do you feel about that, by the way? Let me start here. You guys play a lot of games throughout the regular season. How do you feel about a season possibly ending? And of course, we don't want that to happen, but only a five-game series. Do you feel like it should be like a, a best of seven? No, I, I think five is kind of perfect for a minor league schedule. You know, we, we play 140 games, which is uh, obviously a lot. Not as much as a major league schedule, which is 162, but we, we we still have a chance to send guys up to to the major leagues after our season ends. So if you had a seven game uh, first round and then a seven game second round, then we'd kind of be on par with the major league schedule. So I think five five games is perfect, and five games is a pretty good indication of uh, who the better team is at, at this point in the season. I would agree with that. Talk to me a little bit about Sacramento. Talk to me about the matchup, some of your concerns, things that uh, you know, you're know you talking to your ball club about over the course of the last couple of days. Obviously, you guys have played this team a bunch of times. You know the team very well. But just kind of preview to me the game tonight and this matchup with this ball club. Well, it's interesting because we, we've played Sacramento 16 times in the season, and I believe we're 12-4 and four against them. But we haven't played them in about two months. And because of the roster turnover with both, uh, the River Cats and us, it, we're both totally different teams. And you, you, you look you look at their lineup now, and there's there's only two or three guys that are left from what we've faced in the last time. You look at their their, their pitching staff, and it's it's pretty similar in, in that area too. So uh, there's there's going to be a lot of guys that you know we, we need to get familiar with. Uh, obviously, video is very important these days, and looking at the numbers and how we can attack them, uh, that's going to be very big. But until you lay eyes on them and until the game actually happens and you see where their strengths and weaknesses are, uh, you're, you're going to have to figure it out on the fly a little bit. So you've had some some pretty prominent uh, Major League Baseball players play for for your team, the Matt Harvey, Sean Manet. You just had Seth Brown uh, move up to the A's. Who else has, has gone up uh, to the A's organization from the Aviators this year? Yeah, yeah. We have a, we've had a lot of guys contribute at the Major League level from our roster, the latest being – Seth Brown, who's absolutely tearing the cover off the ball at his first <laughs> major league look. You know, it's, so that's that's a lot of fun to see him go up there and have the kind of success that he's had. Um, Matt Harvey has is, is been here for, for almost a month now, and he's he's trying to fight his way back onto our, our major league roster out of the bullpen. And he's been doing a great job. He's, he's been great with the, the younger guys and kind of bringing that experience and bringing that swagger, especially the, the postseason experience that he has, you know, pitching in the World Series with the Mets. So we have a lot of guys that have had a lot of success at the major league level and are trying to get back there and 
and a lot of guys that have gone up already and have, have been producing at a high level. Do you have any players on your team right now that haven't made it to the big, that haven't gone to the show, but really are su- pleasant surprises that you really look forward to next year or the year after? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of guys who have had breakout years for them themselves. Uh, the first guy, I think it was Mark Payton, uh, a guy who would never hit more than 15 home runs in his career. In his first year in Las Vegas, he he's hit 30 home runs, driven in almost 100 runs, and is sitting at, uh, I think, around a 335 batting average. Just a tremendous player, a great outfielder, a good teammate and someone who hasn't made the big leagues yet. And I, I think he's someone that's definitely deserving of the opportunity, and hopefully he gets it. Well, Fran, uh, first of all, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to join us. You know this is a, is a busy day for you. We hope you kick some butt out there tonight and get the W. I believe the game starts at, at 635. Good luck, and we can't wait till you guys come back to uh, the stadium and, and continue to watch this series, and hopefully you get the W tonight. Thank you so much for your time, Fran. We appreciate it. Absolutely, guys. Bring it home. Thanks right. a lot, Fran. There you go. Fran Riordan, who is the uh, manager of the Las Vegas Aviators. They play Sacramento tonight. By the way, just to bring this up, I didn't want to bring it up with Fran on the line. It's not his concern here. But there is a line you could actually bet in Las Vegas what on Triple A baseball. As far as the game tonight, they don't have series prices. But if you wanted to bet on the game tonight, the Las Vegas Aviators are a favorite. They are minus 155 on the road against Sacramento. Again, the game starts 635, an over-under of 11.5, and, and a run line. So if you wanted to bet on the game, that's interesting what he said, though, because he, he's not, you know, they're not extremely familiar with this team because Sacramento has so many different players now since the last time they played. That is interesting. Uh, that's kind of a little inside info you got there. So I don't know. I, listen, we're rooting for the I, I'm going to give you some inside information. I think that Kyler Murray is going to flame out in the NFL or possibly get hurt, and I think he'll be in an Aviators uniform in a couple of years because well be he, he's still with the A's. That's a possibility. Okay, so when we come back, I want to bring this story up. I've been teasing it. Uh, no pun intended there because it does have to do with a woman posing naked. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about ACES Center. Liz Cambridge, she posed nude for ESPN, the magazine's body issue. Uh, she made some interesting comments about sexuality and posing naked and all this other stuff. We're going to get to that when we come back. You are listening to The Vegas Take right here on the all-new 101.5 FM, 720 AM, K Don.